Have you ever heard about contour map or contour plot? Yang macam dalam video kan? Yes. Okay. Dulu sekolah menengah pernah belajar subjek geografi kan? Pernah. Ha. Okay ingat tak cikgu geografi yang nak kata? Cikgu geografi kata macam ni. It's like this. Contoh-contoh macam ni. Ingat tak dalam subjek geografi masa form 2? Ada, ada, ada. Ha, yeah, kan? yeah, yeah. Okay, you all nak, mm -hmm. nak lukis banjaran titi wangsa lah, nak lukis gunung lah ha, Ni nama dia contour map ni mm -hmm. Contour tinggi. map ha, Tempat tinggi kan? Alright mm -hmm. So now, um, uh, kita akan tengok contour plot ni in mathematics perspective Okay, so I'll give you one example for level curves Please copy this Construct um, example Construct a contour map For the given function Let's say fxy Equals to 25 minus x squared minus y squared Okay, using level curves. Of height. K equals to 0, 9, 16 and 25. Okay. So, solution. Okay, guys. So, first of all, what you should do is we need to make an assumption, okay, where we assume or let z equals to fxy, or we can say that z equals to k, okay, k means height, this is height, ketinggian, all right, so now from the original equation we have uh, fxy equals to 25 minus x squared minus y squared. So since fxy equals to k, we can have this. So now if we rearrange the equations, we can have x squared plus y squared equals to 25 minus k. All right. So now... Let us substitute the values of k. Let's say k equals to 0 first. Okay, so k equals to 0. Then we will have x squared plus y squared equals to 25 minus 0. So 25, right? Yep. So basically, this is a what? In the answer. Uh, this one is a circle. Circle, circle. Circle, yes. Okay, this will be a circle. Sekejap eh, ada student. Guys, you all masuk tadi link kena pakai ikut ke? Tak kan? Click the link tu kan? Ah, uh, Yep, just click the link. Uh, click the link. Kena masuk kod sekejap eh. Saya reply WhatsApp dia orang dulu. Okay. Alright. Okay, so this is a circle with R equals to 5. Okay, radius equals to 5 kan? Okay, so jom kita teruskan lagi. K equals to 9. What happened when K equals to 9? We have X squared plus Y squared equals to 25 minus 9, so we will have x squared plus y squared equals to 16. So yes, again, we will have a circle, but smaller circle. Okay, circle with r equals to, what's the radius now? Uh, 4. 4, okay, good. r equals to 4. 
Let us continue. K equals to 16. So we will have x squared plus y squared equals to 25 minus 16. Then we will have x squared plus y squared equals to 9. All right. So this is a circle with radius 3. And then we will have k equals to 25. So substitute here. We will get x squared plus y squared equals to 25 minus 25. So we get 0. So there are no radius here. Okay, yang tadi ni, ni circle dengan R equals to 3. But now, no radius. So which means that it's just a point. A point of 0, 0. Coordinate 0, 0. Okay. So let us plot the level curves into D. Alright, into D on XY plane. On xy plane, we will have this x axis and y axis. Okay, so the first k, when k equals to 0, right, we have a circle with radius 5. Okay, so we will have this circle. Okay, right here, coordinate is 5. Here is 5, right here, negative 5, right here, negative 5. All right, now, next, when k equals to 9, we will have a smaller circle with radius 4. So this is the smaller circle, radius 4 and 4. And then now we have the smaller circle with radius 3 for k equals to 16. And then when k equals to 25, we will just a point of coordinate 0, 0. Okay? So, right here, we have this point, 0, 0. Okay, guys, now I want to transform these level curves, okay, into 3D. Okay, in three dimensions, let us plot the axis. Mm, guys, you need to use a ruler, eh? Kalau you lukis ni, you make sure you pakai ruler. Pemaris cantik sikit. X, Y and Z. Okay, now uh, I'm going to open my camera so that you can understand this better, hopefully. Okay, if you look at this, um, if you look at this circle, okay, level curves, your circle will be like this. Okay, macam bentuk CD ni kan, bulat, 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 bulat kan. Okay, right now, I want to transform this uh, circles into 3D. So, what happened guys, in 3D, I will change this position to this position. Okay, so in 2D like this, view from above, you nampak bentuk macam ni. Tapi from the front, bila 3D, kita akan jadikan dia CD dia macam ni. Melintang macam ni. Okay. So you will have something looks like this. When K equals to 0, we have a, the biggest circle. Okay. With radius 5. Right here 5. Right here negative 5. Here is negative 5. Okay, and then this is for the k equals to zero. This is when k equals to zero. K zero ni maksudnya z equals to zero. Lantai, x, y plane. Pada tapak, alright. And then if we increase the values of k, k equals to nine. K means what? Height. The height. The height. The height. The height. Alright, so now when k equals to nine, Maksudnya dia bertambah ketinggian, it's getting higher, k equals to 9 here, so we will have a smaller circle, okay, a smaller circle with radius 4. So like this, alright, and then when we keep continuing, when k equals to 16, we will have a smaller circle, lagi kecil, dengan radius equals to 3, like this. Okay, so the last one, 
when k equals to 25, we will just get a point of 0, 0. Okay, a point of 0, 0. So at the level of z equals to 25, we just get a point like this. Okay, understand guys? The transformation from 2 d Right, nampak saya pegang CD ni. 2D macam ni, so bila you transform 3D, dia akan jadi patah macam ni. The view. Melintang. Understand? Doctor, means, uh, the higher the K means uh, the radius will be smaller. Lah. Yes, the higher values of K, the radius is smaller. It depends on the equation. Since your equation like this, so the higher values of K, the smaller values of the radius because this is the equation. Uh, it depends on the equation. Sometimes the second equation, the higher the values of k, the circles becomes larger. Okay, it depends on the equation. Dalam equation kita sekarang ni sebab 25 minus k. That's why we get a uh, smaller circle. Alright? So now, I want to complete this curve. But before that, uh, let me explain about 2D graph. Okay, just now yang ni, yang asal ni, ini adalah on XY plane. Okay. XY plane. Okay, let's say we sketch in 2D. XY plane kita ambil, okay kita ada equation kita tadi yang ni kan. X squared z equals to 25 minus x squared minus y squared. Okay, ni z equals to 25 minus x squared minus y squared. Okay, so into d for x z plane. Okay, into d for x z plane, we will let y equals to 0. Okay, so when we let y equals to 0, we have the equation of z equals to 25 minus x squared. Okay, 25 minus x squared. So, into d for this equation, kita ada x dengan z. So, x here and z here. Always bear in mind, z must be always vertical axis. Okay, kena ingat, z mesti vertical, mesti menegak. Alright, so now, look here, we have z as the subject. Okay, and then we have negative here. Bila z sebagai subjek, so our parabola would be either upward or downward. But now since we have negative, means our graph should be downward. And then we have 25. So we should have this curve. Okay, sebab so plus 25 is shifting, 25 ke atas, 25. And here x positive 5 and then here is negative 5. Okay, so settle for exact plane. Let us continue in two dimension. For, okay, tadi x dengan z. Sekarang ni kita ambil z dengan y pula. Okay, so y z plane. Y z plane. We let, apa yang kosong sekarang ni? X. X. x, yes. So let x equals to zero, right? So we will have equations of z equals to 25 minus y squared. Okay, now guys, nice. Sekarang ni, okay, when we have y z plane, always bear in mind that the coordinate z must be always vertical. Okay, so bila kita cari y z plane, y tu kena mengalah, y tu kena jadi menentang. Ha, macam tu. Sebab kita nak position Z sentiasa tegak. Okay, sentiasa vertical. So, we assume, we let Y jadi horizontal sekarang ni. Okay. So, now, again, again guys, we have Z as the subject. So, bila Z sebagai subject, parabola kita either upward or downward. And of course, it becomes a downward because we have negative. Okay, negative y squared. But we have shifting 25. So, of course, we will have this parabola. Okay, so this is 25. Right here is 5 and right here is negative 5. Okay, now, guys, 
what I'm going to do now is I want to transform these two traces parabola ni pada 3D ni. Okay. So now we want to transform this line X dengan Z ni pada 3D ni. So X bermaksud depan dan belakang kan. At the front and at the back. So depan neg positive 5, belakang negative 5. So the curve of the line should be like this. Okay, di belakang and then dia ke depan. Macam tu. Parabola tu. Okay. Understand? Understand. Understand. Alright. So this is for the case of exact plane. Belakang and depan. Yang ni. Okay. Next, kita nak transform yang YZ pula. YZ, you tengok daripada paksi Y, 5 and negative 5. So, Y exists 5 and negative 5. Okay. So, now the line should be Y positive 5, curve naik atas sampai lah ke kiri. Macam tu. Okay. So, the curve here from negative, from positive 5 until negative 5 kat sini. So, complete lah satu paraboloid. Okay, this is called as paraboloid. Nanti kita belajar lebih banyak contoh-contoh example equation paraboloid. Okay, this is actually the step by step to sketch the paraboloid. But, okay, if you are already expert on sketching, no need for you to do this, okay. Uh, sketching in 2D first means uh, uh, it will help you to get the idea what shape do we have from the equation. Okay. Contohnya dalam test, kalau you tengok equation tu you tak faham bentuk apa yang 3D, you try buat 3D dulu. Okay. So sketch 3D, sketch 2D first to get the idea bentuk apa sebenarnya kita nak lukis tu. Alright. So now, uh, let us go to one by one equations. Kita pergi bentuk dia ada a few types of shapes, right? Surfaces. Okay, number one. We've done already here. Number one, we have parabolic cylinder. Okay, I will give you examples. Uh, sketch. The following surfaces. Okay, the word surfaces ni means 3D. Okay, kalau so dalam test ataupun quiz, you nampak perkataan surface maksudnya 3D. Dia nak, dia nak suruh lukis 3D lah. Alright, so question number one. Let's say we have y equals to 3 plus 5 x squared. And then number two, we have z equals to 16 minus y squared. And then number three, we have x equals to negative z squared. Okay, solution. Okay, question number one. Y equals to 3 plus 5 x squared. Okay, let's say, let's say kita sketch dalam 2D to get the idea in two dimensions. Okay, so kita ada paksi X dengan Y lah. Sebab dia ada variable X dengan Y je kan. So right here is X, right here is Y. Okay. Now guys, uh, as I mentioned you know, during our previous class last week, values of the coefficient here ni, 5 ni, hanya menunjukkan you punya size of the parabola. But not the coordinate. Okay, 5 ni menunjukkan size sama ada it's narrower ataupun expanded. Okay, kembang ataupun kuncup you punya parabola tu. Understand? Okay. So it's not about the position. Position adalah bergantung kepada titik ni. Ni tiga ni. Okay, so now subjek kita sekarang ni adalah Y. Y as the subject. 
So it's either paksi Y menegak, maksudnya korang bola ni menegak ke atas, upward or downward. Dalam kes ni dia adalah positif 5. So bila positif 5 dia adalah? Senyum, eh, upward. Upward, yes. Upward, menghadap ke atas. Okay, tapi dia ada shifting 3. So bila shift dia 3? Naik atas 3. Naik atas 3, yes. 3, macam tu. Okay. So lima tu hanya kembang ataupun kuncup je you punya bukaan parabola tu. That's it, tak ada apa. Kalau tiga tambah sepuluh X pun position dia dekat situ juga. Alright, doesn't matter. This coefficient ni. Jangan jangan get confused with this coefficient. Don't get affected by this coefficient. Ini hanya size sahaja. Sama ada menguncup, narrower or expanded. Dia kembang lagi. Ha, eh? Okay, so now. Hmm. Once we get the shapes in 2D, of course, it will be easier for us to transform in 3D. So straight away. Have X, Y and Z. Okay, look here. We have a parabola facing Y axis with vertex equals to 3. So facing Y axis. Bila transform 3D, dia facing Y axis. Y axis dalam 3D belah mana? Belah kanan kan? On the right hand side. So it's facing Y axis like this. Positive Y. And then we have 3. Okay? Alright. So now, in this original equation, we don't have variable Y. X. X. Z. No Z. Z, yes. Okay, no Z. So this graph should be parallel along Z. Okay, parallel along Z. So guys, parabolic cylinder ni, saya bagi you tips how to sketch the parabolic cylinder. Okay, kaki dia sebelah panjang, sebelah pendek. Alright, kaki dia sebelah panjang, sebelah pendek. So now, you dah tahu dah dia parallel sepanjang Pak CZ. Okay, so parallel sepanjang Pak CZ is either you boleh tarik ke atas ataupun tarik ke bawah. So let's say saya nak tarik ke atas, positif part. So sebelah panjang, sebelah pendek. Uh, cantumkan dia macam tu. So that's it, settle already. Parabolic cylinder. Understand? Faham ke tak ni? Uh, doktor. Faham. Yeah. Faham. Is, is it okay for us to draw uh, at the negative Z? Yes, of course, sure. You can expand it either upward or downward or both sides. All are correct as long as the parabolic cylinder parallel with respect to Z as is. Ah, macam tu. Um, doctor, can you uh, explain how to, from 3D, uh, 2D can change to 3D? I'm a bit confused how to see when 3D at time. Like this, 2D, 2D, you tengok ni, dia ada facing parabola ni, dia mengandalkan hmm. ke luar kan? So you transform tu, dia dekat sini. Pak si Y, mengandalkan Pak si Y. And then the word is 3, pada Pak si Y, titik 3 ni. Uh, so if if that, so I put it up there lah. Yes, after you get the trace, and then you tarik je lah ke atas ataupun ke bawah. Sebab dia parallel pada Z. Uh, okay, okay, understand? Uh, ah yeah. ya. Okay, good. Uh, doktor okay. nak tanya. Hmm? Uh, so kalau uh, tarikkan parallel uh, line Z tu ke atas till a uh, tree ke atau you can uh, tarik ke nombor apa ke? Tarik macam tree. Tarik. Tapi vertex dia tetap tiga lah. Tiga. Kami parallel ni. Okay. Sorry, can you repeat your question? Ah uh, no doctor, I understood ni. Okay, okay, alright. <laughs> Can I proceed now? <laughs> uh, Doctor. Yes. Uh, I have a problem regarding the uh the shape of the the paraboloid. It means that uh it's a shape, not a surface, right? Paraboloid is a surface. Mangkuk tom yang mangkuk. Okay, macam so, ni. Paraboloid cylinder is like a longkang. 
Ini okay. parabolic silinder tu bentuk dia macam longkang tau. Okay. Ni parabolic silinder. Tapi kalau paraboloid bentuk dia mangkuk, mangkuk tong yang. Ha, yang ni mangkuk tong yang ni tumpah. Sebab dia z okay. minus. Z equals uh, so to 25 minus x squared minus y squared. Hmm. Okay, doctor. So if like for example, we use the equation, can we get the 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 result that x x equal to zero and y equal to zero? X equals to zero and y equals to zero. Ah, yeah. Yes, of course. Yes. X equals to zero and y equals to zero. Z equals to twenty five. Here, yeah. like this. Bully. Okay. Ah, we just record it. Okay. Yeah, that point. Okay. We get a point of twenty five zero zero twenty five. Nih, kau ini zero zero twenty five. Nih atas ni. Ah, contoh. Oh. Oh. Okay. Ah. Okay. So both of them is not considered a shape but surface. Sorry? So both of them is considered a shape. Uh, it's considered a surface but not a shape. Surface, yes, a shape. solid. Actually, it's a solid. Manko, yes. A surface. Oh. So it's totally different from the concept of cone. Cone pun sama surface juga. Cone, bentuk cone. Nanti kita akan belajar bentuk cone later. Okay, I will go one okay. by one. Alright? Okay. Mm. Sorry okay. to interrupt, doctor. Can I ask another question? Okay. Um, is it mandatory to have the x y plane on? I mean, like have to after we draw the intersect, right? Then do we have to write in two D x y plane? Let y equals to zero. No, or that's why. No, 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 no. That's why I mentioned earlier. Sketch two D just to get the idea only. If you are expert enough by just looking at the equations, then straight away sketch the graph in three D. Oh, okay. okay. Yes, as I mentioned earlier, sketch two D just to get the idea. Just to get the idea. Oh, bentuk apa eh? Sebab, why? Because in your test, sometimes, the soalan ni banyak equations. So, sometimes kita akan jadi pening. Oh, which bentuk apa ni? Tak ada idea. Tak ada idea. So, what you should do? Try to sketch the graph in 2D. To get the idea. But, the question ask you to sketch the graph in 3D. Okay? So, markah adalah pada graph 3D. Ah, faham? Markah uh, hanya untuk yang ni, uh, graph, to, graph 2D just to get the idea. Sebab uh, sudah saya cakap, uh, macam mana nak lukis graph yang saya tak nampak bentuk apa dan 3D, tak nampak. So that's why, uh, kalau you tak nampak equation bentuk-bentuk apa dalam 3D, sketch the graph in 2D first. Just to get the idea. Alright, understand? Yeah, thank you doctor. Okay, good. Now, can I proceed, guys? <laughs> we can. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Proceed. Amen. Uh, Question number two. 16 minus y squared. Okay. So, again, uh, again, if you want, if you understand, if you're already expert, then you can straight away sketch the graph in 3D. Okay, but... If you want to know what type of shape do we have here, you can sketch the graph in 2D. Okay, let's say saya buatlah juga in 2D just to get the idea, right? So in 2D sekarang ni paksi yang terlibat adalah paksi Y and Z. Y exists and Z exists only. Okay, so now the subject is Z. Okay, Z means vertical axis. So the parabola should be either upward or downward. Okay, but now we have negative y squared. So, of course, it becomes downward, but we're shifting 16. Okay, kita shift 16 above lah. So, dia jadi macam ni. Like this. Okay, here 16. Right here is 4, right here is negative 4. Okay, so now let us proceed to the graph in 3D. All right, graph 3D. So we have X, Y, and Z. Hmm. Okay, macam mana nak transform ni? Ah, macam mana nak transform? So you tengok eh, garisan dia ni saya ajar eh, step by step. You tengok, dia berada lengkung curve ni, dia berada pada paksi Z dengan bucu 16 dekat koordinat Z. So dekat... Dekat 3D, koordinat Z kat sini lah, 16. Of course lah, okay. 
All right. And then we have y equals to 4 and negative 4. Okay. So 4 and negative 4. Like that. Okay. Now, if you look at the original equation, so Alana Salini, we don't have parallel y. X exists. X. Yes, no X. So it should be parallel along X axis. Yes, parallel along X axis. Okay, now the same concept here, guys. It's either, okay, part C X bermaksud either to the front or to the back. Okay, guys. So nak tarik lukisan you ni, you boleh tarik ke depan sahaja, you boleh tarik ke belakang sahaja ataupun you tarik both sides. All are correct. Okay, semua betul. As long as dia parallel terhadap pasi X. Understand? Yes. So, you boleh. Yes. Okay, let's say kalau saya, saya nak tarik, saya nak panjangkan sikit pasi saya ni. Saya panjangkan lagi. Bagi you faham. Tarik ke depan ni. Okay, let's say saya nak tarik ke arah pasi X positif. Ha, so, you tarik lah. Macam ni. Okay. So, you buat dia parallel. Macam ni. Ha. So that's it. Ini kalau tarik ke depan. Kalau tarik ke belakang, tarik lah. Sama je. Okay. Tak kisah mana-mana. Yang penting kita nampak. Lecturer nampak, oh student ni faham. Dia parallel terhadap X axis. So tak kisah dia nak tarik ke depan ataupun belakang. As long as parallel terhadap pasi X. Understand? Yeah. 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 Good. Yeah. Well done, well done, well done. So now, question number three. X equals to negative Z squared. Ah. In 2D, macam mana ke bentuk dia ni? Melintang. Pasi Z. Eh, eh, sorry. Pasi Z. Kiri kanan. Left or right? Left. Ah, yeah. negative. Right. Yes, left. Because we have negative. Okay, left. And the subject is X. Of course, it should be on the left. So, sebelah kiri ni. Ah, macam tu. Okay. So, now, let us transform in 3D. X, Y, and Z. Okay, guys. When we said that the curve or parabola is facing negative X, negative X in 3D bermaksud sebelah mana? On which side? In 3D? Front yeah, and back. At the back. Yes, well done. At the back. So, curve hijau ni, curve ni, uh, you transform 3D at the back. So, at the back. Okay. Like that. Understand? Understand. Okay, now. Variable apa yang tak ada dalam ni? Y. 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 Yes, so it should be parallel along Y axis. Along Y. Yes. Uh, so you tarik lah. Okay, part C Y bermaksud sebelah kanan ataupun sebelah kiri. It's up to you. Okay, nak tarik sebelah mana. Semua betul. Yang penting dia parallel terhadap part C Y. Okay, so you tarik lah. Sebelah panjang, sebelah pendek. Ha, tarik. Okay. Ha, macam tu. So, ni. Dia punya ni. Ha. Okay. Understand? Yes. Yes. Hmm. Saya tahu tu tengah ejek-ejek lukisan tu. Padang, padang, padang. Kalau tak cantik, padang. Buat cantik-cantik sikit. Okay. Question number two. Paraboloid. Ah, meh. Kita study pasal paraboloid pula. I will give you a few examples of paraboloid. Okay. So, paraboloid. Uh, example sketch. The following surfaces. Let's say number one, we have z equals to 1 plus 2x squared plus 2y squared. And then number two, we have x equals to negative 
let's say 4y squared plus 3z squared. And then number 3, let's say 9, eh, sorry, y, eh, here ke, z, tadi x, y, ah, y lah pula, y equals to, uh, let's say 9 minus x squared plus y squared. Okay, like this. Okay, guys, what's the difference between the equations of paraboloid and the equations of parabolic cylinder? What's the difference? We have all the variables. Yes, well done. We have all the variables here. Okay, so that's the difference between paraboloid and parabolic cylinder. Okay, now, uh, first of all, I give you tips. Okay, you look at the subject. Okay, if the subject is Z, means the paraboloid ataupun mangkuk tom yam you mesti berada pada paksi Z. Okay, kalau dia X, maksudnya dia mesti berada pada paksi X. Sama ada belakang ataupun depan. Kalau Y, mesti berada pada paksi Y. Sama ada mangkuk tu menghadap ke kiri ataupun ke kanan. Ha, that's the tips. Okay, next. Let us do question number one. Kita tengok eh, question number one. Okay, saya akan explain kenapa saya suka suggest student untuk sketch graph in 2D to get the idea. Okay, so in 2D, okay. Guys, in 2D, bila ada tiga variable macam ni, you tak perlulah buat semua sekali. You pilih satu je lah. Sama ada X, Z plane ataupun Y, Z plane. Ha, okay, salah satu je. Sebab kita nak tahu bentuk je sebenarnya. Alright, so you can choose either one. Tapi, okay, in the case of Z dengan Y ni, Z, bila ada Z dan ada X dengan Y, it's better for you to choose Y, Z plane. Sebab, position dia sama lebih kurang macam position 3D. Okay, sebab in Y, Z plane, you punya position, Z dekat menegak, Y dekat kiri kanan kan? So, this lebih kurang sama macam position 3D. You tak pening nak pusing-pusing nanti. Okay, so in 2D, YZ plane, apa yang kosong? We let Y equals to zero. X equals to zero, right? So your equations, sorry, so your equation would be Z equals to 1 plus 2Y squared. Alright, so nak sketch graph in 2D, Z equals to 1 plus 2Y squared. The subject now is Z. So Z is the vertical axis. So, of course, it's either upward or downward. So, now the, the coefficient of y squared is positive 2. Of course, it should be an upward parabola. Mesti menghadap ke atas sebab dia positif. And then, dia shift 1. So, naik atas satu tangga. Alright, so it's something looks like this. So, here, 1. Okay. Pesan apa tadi? 2 ni, 2 dekat sini ni just menunjukkan saiz dia je. Kembang ataupun kuncup. Dua tu. It doesn't matter kan? Okay. No matter the values of the coefficient, it just about expanded or narrow, uh, the, the parabola should be narrower or expanded. Macam tu lah. Okay. So, position dia tetap macam ni. Okay. Alright. So, bila dah dapat graph 2D macam ni, dah tahu dah lah. Lukis lah 3D. Dah dapat agak lah betul macam mana. Okay, X, Y, Z. Ha, bentuk dia macam gini kan? Okay, lepas tu kita tengok soalan asal balik. Dia ada ketiga-tiga variable. So, tak logik lah kalau parabolik silinder tadi, dia akan parallel sepanjang variable yang tak ada. Tapi dalam kes ni, so ketiga-tiga variable ada, exist. So, of course dia akan jadi paraboloid. So, automatically just buat je mangkuk tom yang awak ni. Siap lah, satu. That's it. Lukis macam ni dah fumak lah. Lukis je 3D ni. Understand guys? Understand. Yes. yes. Okay, good. So now, question number two. Question number two, x equals to negative 4y squared plus 3z squared. Ah, uh, Ini pun sama. Kalau you nak try plot 2D, you boleh pilih sama ada Okay, in 2D, you can pilih sama ada x, y plane or apa satu lagi, x, z plane in 2D. 
Okay, either one. You tak perlu buat dua-dua pun. Alright. So now let's say kita ambil XY plane. So XY plane, we let Z equals to zero. Therefore, our equation of X equals to negative 4Y squared. Okay guys, so bila negative 4Y squared, hmm, subjek kita X. So what happen? Awak. Uh, eh, iya ke? Apa buat tuan buat? Left or right? Subjek kita X kan ni? Ah, left, left. Left, right? Okay, so left. Left kat sini, macam tu. Negative 4 tu tak kisahlah, negative 10 pun kat situ juga. Kembang kuncup dia je, negative 4 tu. Okay, doesn't matter. So now, dah dapat idea dah bentuk tu. Dah tahu dah lah, mangkuk tu dia menghadap ke arah. Kalau 3D, X negative adalah ke belakang kan? Ha. So, bila X sebelah kiri tu, X negatif, kita dah tahu dah tiga 3D, dalam 3D, paksi X negatif tu sebelah belakang. Ni, negatif X ni. Okay, so dia menghadap sebelah belakang lah, 3D. Like this. Okay. Since all the exist, uh, all the variables here, of course it becomes a paraboloid, jadilah mangkuk macam ni. Okay. So next question number three. Eh, sorry. Question number three. Ah, saya padam. Saya nak buat Y. So let's see here is Z squared. 9 minus x squared plus z squared. Okay, so now, uh, okay, let's say into d. Into d, okay, saya pesan apa tadi, kita better ambil yz plane kan? Sebab dia transformation dia sama bentuk as is dia. So yz plane, we let x equals to 0, therefore y equals to 9 minus Z squared. So if we plot the coordinate, uh, sorry, the graph into D, we have here Y, we have here Z. Okay, Y jadi melintang lah sebab dia dengan Z. Eh. So Y, uh, Y equals to negative. Okay, Y horizontal exists. So when it's horizontal, it's either right or left. Okay, but in this case, we have negative Z squared, so it becomes on the left. Okay. Yes, on the left. Good. But we have shifting. We need to shift 9. So, bila kita shift 9 tu, dia akan jadi macam gini. Okay, here is 9. Right here should be 3. Right here should be negative 3. Okay. So, therefore, dah dapat agak dah kan bentuk 3D dia macam mana? So, in 3D, automatically, We will have x exists, y exists, and z exists. So, bucu dia, ha, ni, ni, ni. Bucu dia y equals to 9. So, y equals to 9 should be here. 9. Ha, macam tu. So, the coordinate here is 3 and the coordinate here is negative 3. Automatically, we know that this is a paraboloid. Ha, mangkuk tom yang lukis macam tu. Dah settle. Okay. So, done already on paraboloid. Let us move to shape number three. Uh, we have cylinder. Okay, cylinder. Sketch the following surfaces. Let's say number one, we have 5x squared plus 5y squared equals to 125. Number two, we have 3x squared plus x squared equals to 9. Number three, apa eh? Okay, 4y squared plus 2z squared equals to 8. Alright. So guys, when we talk about cylinder in 2D, it's either a circle or an ellipse. Okay. 
So if you look at the first question, ah, cylinder ni paling mudah lah, paling simple. Okay, solution. Question number one. 5x squared plus 5y squared equals 225. We divide everything by 5. So we will have x squared plus y squared equals to 125 divided by 5 is 25. Okay, so we will have a circle with radius 5. R equals to 5. Okay, now since in this equation, there are no variable, no z. So it should be parallel along z. Okay, so in 3D, we will have a cylinder parallel to z axis. X, Y and Z. So you buat lah. Okay, tengah-tengah dulu. Sini 5, 5. Here is negative 5. And then you can go upward or downward lah. Okay, both are correct. Nak lukis setelah saja pun boleh. Jadilah silinder parallel along Z axis. Okay, so for question number 2. Nah, ni you all dah expert ni. Sub topic 1.1. Sekali tengok pun dah tahu dah. Ni bentuk apa ni? In 2D. Ellipse. Ellipse, yes. Okay, so we have divide every, we need to divide everything by 9. So 3, sorry. 3x squared over 9 plus x squared over 9 equals to 1. So we will have x squared over 3 plus z squared over 9 equals to 1. This is ellipse. What's the major axis? Z. Z. Okay, major z. axis is z. And then in this equation, we don't have variable. Y. No y, yes. So it should be parallel along y. So jom kita plot di 3D. Okay, X, Y, and Z. Okay, dia, dia major axis pada part C, Z. Alright, so major axis pada part C, Z. Hmm, kita buat panjang sikit macam ni lah. Alright. And it's parallel along Y. Since there is no Y. Like this. Okay, and the value here, uh, Z should be 3. And the value here, x should be square root 3. Okay? Understand? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well done. So now, question number 3. Ani, apa meja exist dia? Two z squared over eight. Z. For the z n. Okay, so for the z, the parallel sepanjang part C x, right? There is no. No x. So in 3D, okay, so x as this, y and z. Okay, parallel pada part C z. Hmm, kita buat longer pada part C z lah. Should be longer like this. And then parallel along x as this. So you will have something looks like this. Okay, right here should be, uh, what's the coordinate here of Z? Two. Two. How about Y? Z two. Square root two, yes, like that. Okay, so we finished already for the cylinder. Okay, sphere and ellipsoids. Sphere and ellipsoids. Hmm, saya combine sekali lah sebab equation sphere and ellipsoid ni lebih kurang sama. 
Okay, sphere and ellipsoids. Before that, uh, sebelum saya terlupa, uh, you have the general equation of sphere. Okay. In general, you notice this type of equation in the video by Dr. Najira. E like this equals to k, kan? Ni, in general, ada the, the equation macam ni. Uh, this is the equation of a sphere. Okay, now, um, we have three possibilities of k. Alright? If k greater than zero, Shopee pula. If k greater than zero, we, we, means we will get a graph of a circle, right? Circle with radius k. Radius equals to k. Right? And then if k equals to zero, what happened? It's a single point. Yes, single a point. Point. Good. a single point. Macam tadi, yang kita buat tadi tu, dapat zero-zero tu, yang ni. Awal-awal ah, ah, tadi ni. Ah, ni. A point equals to zero because we don't have any radius. Okay, just a point. Alright, let us continue this. And then now, if k equals or less than zero. Okay, if k less than zero, apa masuk dia? In the terminate, that would that would be okay. Not satisfy any value. <laughs> Not satisfy any value. Okay, no conclusion. Okay, tak nak conclude. Dia tak ada conclusion. Not exist actually. Okay, so now um, let us solve one question. Describe apa yang dalam buku dalam modul tu kita tengok cak soalan mana saya nak tengok. Soalan yang perlukan describe sphere ni. Exercise 1.3. Exercise 1.3. Uh, find the center and radius of the sphere. Okay. So question number 5. Tak apalah saya reka je lah soalan. Example. Describe. the following surface okay let's say we have x squared plus y squared plus z squared minus 8x plus uh, let's say 2y minus uh, 10z equals to plus 3 equals to zero. Okay, plus three equals to zero. All right, so now let's solve this solution. Okay, in order to use completing the square, okay guys, look at, uh, look here carefully. Okay, open the bracket first, open the bracket, we put x, Right, and then you look at the pair. Tengok pasangan dia. X pasangan dia negative eight x. Kat sini. X pasangan dia x. So bila negative, what happen? What you should do is negative eight ni you have to divide by two. Okay. So x negative eight divide by two we have negative four. Close square. Tutup kurungan and then buat square sedua tu. Okay. And then plus. Open the bracket, ambil Y pula. Okay, pasangan Y adalah 2Y ni. So, what you should do is, you have to divide by 2, the coefficient of Y. So, 2 bahagi 2 dapat 1. So, positif kan? So, plus 1. Tutup kurungan kuasa 2. Okay. So, next. Plus Z. Open the bracket. Open the bracket for Z. Tengok pasangan Z mana? Z. Pasangan ni negatif 10 Z. So what you should do is you have to divide this by 2. So negative 10 divide by 2. We will have negative 5. So square. Macam tu. 
Okay, so tambah 3, okay, tambah 3 plus 3, just copy it down here, plus 3. And then minus, open the square bracket. So we will have negative 4 squared. Okay, negative 4 squared, dia jadi 16. Tambah 1 squared, dia jadi positive 1 plus negative 5 squared, dia jadi 25. Uh, like this. Equals to 0. Alright. So now we will have equation kita akan jadi x minus 4 squared plus y plus 1 squared plus z minus 5 squared. Okay. Plus 3 minus, nah, ni berapa ni? 17 tambah 25. 17 tambah 25. 43, right? A 42. 42 minus 3. Okay, 42 equals to 0. Like this, kan? Uh, so, we will have x minus 4 squared plus y plus 1 squared minus 5 squared equals to 42 minus 3. So, we will get 39. Like this. Sorry guys, saya rasa saya punya iPad internet, saya pakai iPad wireless dia lagi laju daripada saya punya laptop. So maybe you are the lag sikit kan, lambat sikit kan, lebih kan. Okay, so now kita dah sampai level ni. Hmm. Yeah, so this is a circle with center. For negative one pi. Yes, 4, negative 1 and 5. And then the radius R equals to square root 39. 39. Okay, done. Alright, try one more question. Example 2. Describe the following surface. Let's say we have 3x squared plus 3y squared plus 3z squared minus or plus 3x plus uh, 9y minus 18z plus 10 equals to 0. Tak muat sesama bawah. <laughs> Okay, so now if you have this type of question, first of all, what you should do is you have to ensure that all the variables equals to 1. Okay, all the coefficients of the variables with square equals to 1. So, first, we need to divide everything by 3. three. Okay, so divide by 3, we will have x squared plus y squared plus z squared plus x plus 3y minus 6z plus 10 over 3 equals to 0. Okay, now open the bracket. X, uh, tengok ni, X pasangan dia X. Satu. Ni, 1. So, you divide by 2. Okay, so you bahagikan 2. Ni, 1 ni. So, 1 divide by 2, we will have plus 1 over 2 squared, like this. And then plus y, open the bracket, plus 3y. y, couple the y kat sini. And then this one, you kena bahagi 2. So plus 3 over 2 lah. Squared. Okay, and then plus z, open the bracket. Now we have uh, the pair of z is negative 6z. So negative 6 should be divided by 2. So we have negative 3. Okay, so we have minus 3 squared like this. And then plus 10 over 3 minus open the bracket. 
Okay guys, now open the bracket. We have 1 over 2 squared. So, 1 per 2 kuasa 2 jadi 1 per 4. Tambah 3 over 2 squared. So, 3 over 2 squared is 9 over 4. Plus 3 squared. Negative 3 squared. So, plus 9. Ha, equals to 0. Ha, dapat berapa ni guys? Kira-kira. Tak kira, kira. boleh. Dua laju, bagus. Negatif apa? Uh, sebelah kosong ke sebelah kiri ke kanan? Sebelah kiri. Sebelah kiri. Negatif berapa? 49 per 6. 49 per 6? Ni. Everybody got this? Saya tak kira ni. Jadi saya, saya ikut je you all ni. Betul guys? Everybody got this? Ada tengah-tengah tekan kereta? Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, so what happened? X plus 1 over 2 squared plus Y plus 3 over 2 squared plus Z minus 3 squared equals to 49 over 6. Okay, this is a circle. We center. Negative 3 over 2 and then 3. And then yeah. this should be square root 49 over 6 or 7 over square root 6. I do one lah. Okay, settle. Okay, dah. So that's for the completing the square. Uh, now let us go to the examples of spheres and ellipsoids. Kita belajar sketch pula. Sketch the following surfaces. Okay, number one. Apa saya nak reka ni? Ha, bolehlah 2x squared plus 2y squared plus 2z squared equals to 8. Number two, we have z equals to this one. Hmm, you go. Ha, bolehlah ni. And then number three, let's say we have this. Number four, let's say we have four x squared. Hmm. Okay, so let us solve the first question first. Solution. Guys, kalau penat nak minum ke apa ke, minumlah. Nak makan ke, makanlah pisang goreng buat sebab saya tak kisah. Jadi you pay attention. Okay, then, then don't mind. Never mind. You can boleh makan sambil makan sambil minum pun. Tengok video ni. Yang penting saling. Alright, now. 2x squared plus 2y squared plus 2z squared. Right now, you see the coefficients are the same. Of course, it becomes a circle in 2D. Therefore, in 3D, it becomes a sphere. Okay? So, if we divide everything by 2, we will have x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals to 4. Alright? So this is a sphere with uh, radius 4. Okay, dapatlah sphere bentuk macam bola sepak. X, Y and Z. Ha, ni. Buat tengah dulu, bulat tengah, bulat atas, bulat bawah. Macam tu. What's the radius tadi? 2. Set it. Uh, two, two, two. Saya kan dah bagi dua tadi kan? So, negative two. Bawah ni negative two. Belakang ni negative two. Okay. Question number two. Hmm. Question number two. We have z equals to square root of 81 minus x squared minus y squared. Okay, so for this type of question, you need to square both sides. Okay, let us square both sides. We will have z squared equals to 81 minus x squared minus y squared. And then you need to rearrange the variables. So we have x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals to 81. Now you know that this is a sphere. Okay, however, however guys, 
Look at the original equation. We have square root sine last week. What did I mention about square root sine? What happened? Negative right there. Ah, yes, which means that z must be always positive. Okay, since z must be always positive, we just care about the half part of the sphere. So it becomes a hemisphere. Okay, so dalam kes soalan ni, graf kita adalah hemisphere. Sebab dia separuh saja z positif saja. So let us sketch the hemisphere. X, Y, and Z. So we have this. The topi je. Ha, macam tu. Okay. So 81. What's the radius? 9. 9. Yes, good. Here is 9. Right here is negative 9. Ha, depan pak si X ni 9. Belakang ni negative 9. Ha, like that. Okay, next question number 3. Okay, hmm. so what you should do now is you have to divide everything by 9. So we have x squared over 9 plus 3 divided by 3 uh, divided by 9 should be y squared over 3 bagi 9, 3 lah. So z squared over 3 equals to 1. So right now the major axis is, this is ellipse right, ellipsoids. So major axis is... Okay. X, okay, this is ellipsoid. So, kita pun lukis lah. Kalau tadi, bola sepak, sphere. Tapi ellipsoid ni bermaksud uh, bola rugby lah, okay. Macam bola rugby. X, Y and Z. So, you plot yang major lah, major kita X. So, ambil X. Okay. And then atas bawah. Hmm, macam tu. Begitu gigil dengan saya. Sekejap. Ha, macam tu. Cantik sikit. Okay. And then the value here. Eh, sorry. Dekat X ni. Dekat sini. X ni adalah 3. Dekat Z dia adalah jadi positive uh, square root 3. Okay. And then dekat Y dia jadi square root 3 jugalah. Okay. So, next question number four. Question number four. Ni mana major as ni? Divide everything by 16, we have x squared over 4. Y. Yes. Y squared over 16. Z squared over 4 equals to 1. So, pada part C, Y, macam mana bentuk ellipsoid ni? Magic as is Y. Hmm, magic as is Y. Senang je lah. Okay, X, Y and Z. So, we have something looks like this. Topi bawah dia. Okay, like that. So, here Y should be 4. Z? 2. 2. Okay. And then X ni 2 lah. Positive 2. Okay. Alright. So last one. Bentuk apa yang saya tertinggal lagi? Oh, code. Alright. Number berapa dah ni? Number 5 eh. Number 5 we have code. Ha, code. Tadi ada one of you ask about code, right? Okay. So I give you three examples. Mm, sketch the following surfaces. Okay, let's say number one, we have z equals to 9x squared plus 9y squared. Number two, we have, let's say, that is z ni y lah pula. Okay, y minus, let's say, 4x squared plus 4z squared. Number 3, uh, okay, x plus, x kuasa 2, 3y squared plus 5z squared. Ini z squared lah atas ni. 
tertinggal. Sorry. Okay, so solution. Okay, question number one. Z squared equals to 9X squared plus 9Y squared. Okay, guys, let's say in your test, you don't know what type of shape is this. Tak dapat idea. Tak tahu nak buat macam mana. Uh, try plot the graph in 2D. So, in 2D, saya pesan apa tadi? Kalau ada Z sebagai subjek, apa kita pilih? It's better for you. YZ, well done. Okay, good. Kita pilih YZ plane. YZ plane, so we let X equals to zero. Okay, so when X equals to zero, we have Z squared equals to 9Y squared. Macam mana nak lukis ni? Bila 9Y squared ni? Okay, so now you have to take a root both sides. Okay, take a square root both sides. So we will have Z equals to plus minus 3Y. Okay, Z equals to plus minus 3Y. So now, guys, from here, we have two equations. Okay, satu, you are the Z equals to 3Y. Satu lagi, you are the Z equals to negative 3Y. Macam tu. Okay, so now, bila you plot 2D, Pak si Y melintang eh, Pak si Z menegak. Z must be always vertical. So guys, what happened? Nine. Z equals to 3Y, a straight line passing through the origin. Okay, this is Z equals to 3Y. And then the second line with negative gradient here. Okay, Z equals to negative 3Y. Ah, kan dah nampak tu dalam 3D. So in 3D, automatically. Double sided cone. Yes, we have both sides of cones. Okay. Eh. Alah, sekejap eh guys. Saya punya ni dah stop pula. Wait a minute. Selalu itu petang-petang eh. Daripada kelas hari tu lagi lah. Start broadcast. Internet uh, UMP ni dia Dia problem sikit Sekejap eh, saya kena connect balik saya punya iPad Wait a minute Stop broadcast. Okay. Join. Sekejap eh. Alah. Setting. Nah, minum air dulu, minum air dulu. Sekejap ni ada bintik sebenarnya ikut dia join. Okay. Now I want to share screen. Share screen. Start broadcast. Dah nak habis lah tanya lah. Dia problem sekejap eh. Masuk tak? Tak ada. Boleh nampak dah? Boleh. Okey. Macam mana? Hah? Dah nampak belum? <laughs> dah belum? Dah? Saya nak tengok yang tu di structure. Okey. Ni eh. Dah eh. Saya dah share screen eh. Okey. So now. Madam boleh nak tengok tu di structure dulu kejap. Oh tu D, ha okey lah betul kita tu D, tu D. Macam tu. Tak apa guys, nanti saya bagi, saya share, saya, saya record ni, nanti saya akan bagi video kita ni. 
uh, saya upload kat YouTube saya bagi link nanti Okay Okay Benar uh, X, Y and Z Of course lah Dia jadi dua cones pada part C, X, part C, Z ni So we have like this Like this Settle Okay So next question number two Question number two We will have Ah, ni menarik Okay So In 2D On YZ plane Again, we let X equals to zero So when let x equals to 0, therefore y equals to 8 minus square root of 4z squared. Uh, so ni dia apa ni guys? Eh ni ke? Kuasa? So 8 plus minus 2z lah kan? Betul tak? Okay. So from here you ada dua equations ni. Satu y equals to 8 plus 2z, satu lagi y equals to 8 minus 2z. Ha macam tu. Ingat tak kaedah intersect form? Kita belajar last week intersect form. Cara cepat nak lukis straight line. So we will have y minus 2z equals to 8 So divides everything by 8, y over 8 minus z, oh, 2 bagi 8 jadi 4 sama dengan 1. Okay. So yang ni pun samalah intersect form. Uh, y plus 2z equals to 8. So y over 8 plus z over 4 equals to 1. So jom kita plot graph 2D ni. Uh, 2D, part C, Y, Z lah tadi kan, Y, Z plane Okay, so Y, Y here, Z here Okay, Y equals to 8, so 8 here And Z equals to negative 4 Ni, saya buat yang ni dulu 8 dengan negative 4 So, negative 4 duk bawah sikit lagi lah hmm. So, negative 4 here So like this, this is the equation of y equals to 8 plus 2z. Okay, lagi satu. Yang ni, y equals to 8, ada dah 8 kat sini. z equals to 4. So 4 ke atas, macam ni. So this is the second line. Uh, this is the equation of y equals to 8 minus 2z. You all boleh imagine tak sekarang bentuk 3D dia macam mana? Can you imagine it? One-sided cone. Yes, so it will be only one-sided cone. All right, so we have this. X, Y, and Z. Sebelah mana ni? Ah, you tengok bucu dia. The vertex is at 8. La ilaha illallah. Kejap eh guys, saya punya internet problem ni sebab dia nak hujan dekat sini. Dekat Kuantan dah ribut. Ha, itulah. <laughs> Sekejap eh. Saya punya internet ni problem, wireless UMP ni. Hmm. Uh, um, sorry lah doktor, can I ask something? Yeah. Ya? Yes, yes, of course, oh, sure. Um, meaning for the cone one, right? Huh? Uh, we have to draw like uh, y equals to mx. Uh, see that kind of intersection, the straight line. Then only we can see whether it's one side or two. Is it? Uh, it depends. Yes, it depends on the equation. Actually, if you have square root sign, it should be one side only. Square uh, so root sign. Yes. Uh, uh, yes. Mm. But we have to draw the line first, right? The white, the straight line. 
Yeah, yes, yes. If you, uh, uh, but if you already expert, you just straight away sketch the graph in 3D. Doesn't matter. Uh, okay. uh, but if you're not sure about the, the, the position or the shape of the graph, it's better for you to sketch the graph in 2D first. Uh, okay, understand. Mm. Okay. Thank you, Doctor. Welcome. Understand. Wow, this actually you all need. Banyak bertanya. It's good. Okay, sekejap eh, saya share screen. Tak stable lah dia punya line. Video pun delay. Ah, dia lag kan? Ah, uh -uh, delay. Sebab saya punya laptop saya pakai kabel. Saya punya iPad ni saya pakai... Saya pakai... I, mm, wireless. Oh, wireless lah. Ah, tapi dia... Oh my god, stop sharing. Sekejap. Share screen lagi sekali. Last dia sikit je lagi. Nak habis sekarang ni. Start broadcast. Saya pun nak balik dah ni. Besok cuti kan. You all dah cuba cuti ke? Covid-Covid ni take care tau. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Boleh tak ni? Nampak tak? Can you see this? Nampak. Nampak. Okay. So now. Jom kita habiskan ni. So, cone dia akan bentuk macam ni lah. Y equals to 8. And then, straight away, just catch the cone. Here is 4, bawah ni negative 4. Hmm. Settle, dah siap. Okay. So, next. Third question. Hmm. Okay, x squared equals to 3y squared plus 5z squared. Okay guys, as I mentioned earlier, saya dah banyak kali cakap dah ni. Okay, perkali ni dia tak, uh, dia hanya merujuk kepada you punya kecondongan sahajalah. Dia tak merujuk kepada koordinat. Okay, so you don't have to worry about these values. Alright, so dalam kes ni, kalau kita plot graph in 2D, in 2D, let's say saya ambil xy plane. So z equals to 0, therefore x squared equals to 3y squared. So therefore we have x equals to plus minus 3, eh, sorry, square root 3y lah kan? 3y. Uh, square root 3y, okay. So, square root 3y ni just a constant lah guys. Dia tak ada apa. Square root 3y. And then satu lagi x equals to negative square root 3y. Sebab square root tu tak termasuk dengan y. So, dia bukan parabola eh. Dia just a straight line. Okay, it's just a straight line. Cuma kecerunan. Kecerunan dia square root 3 yang itu. So, x and y. Okay, x positif should be should be like this lah. Okay, and then the negative. So of course, okay guys, bila you tengok ni, equation ni, dia berada pada paksi x sebab x sebagai subjek kita. Okay, so you can sketch the graph of 3D happily. Dengan gembiranya. Dah siap dah. Buatlah paksi kon dekat paksi X. Okay. X, Y and Z. Hmm. Dekat paksi X. So X sebelah depan dengan belakang lah. Eh. So depan, belakang. Eh, tak cantik. Hmm, macam tu. Hmm. Dah siap. Understand guys? Understand. Yes. <laughs> okay, I will yeah. stop recording.